Hey, this is OXDF, and today we're talking Nmap and UDP. Scanning with Nmap is foundational skill when it comes to hacking. It's the first thing I do when I, with a box, is I gotta figure out what ports are open so I can triage them and figure out which ones to enumerate and attack. Um, typically, like when I write a blog post, or just in general, typically we focus on TCP scans, but UDP can be useful and or necessary, um, but it's also unreliable. I mean, by definition, that's what UDP is, um, but also can be flaky and slow. Um, so in this video, we're going to talk about how I like to approach UDP scanning and uh, some tips for the way to do it fast, um, but also to catch the information you need so you're not diving through a box and missing a key port. Uh, let's go ahead and dive in. All right. So for the sake of demo today, we're going to be playing around with a bunch of hack the box machines. Um, and specifically, uh, we're going to look at uh, 10, 10, 11, 136, which is Pandora. Um, so we can start with something real simple. So if we want to start scanning... Uh, UDP ports, we do dash, cap, dash S capital U to say UDP. And we'll start with something real small, like the top ports, like 10. So we'll do 10, 10, 11, 1, 136. And um, this should run relatively quickly. Um, and, and a lot of times, actually, on a hacked box machine, this is really all you're going to need because the things you're going to see are going to be DNS, SNMP. Um, I'm trying to think what other UDP ports we may have even run into over the years. Um, SNMP is by far the most common. So um, right there, we, we quickly see we have SNMP open on this box right here. Um, we can try another box we want to, might want to look at um, was, let's see, Trick, I believe, is 166. If we run this one, um, this one doesn't have SNMP open, but again, within a few, three seconds, we've got uh, open DNS. So, um, but that's only 10 ports, right? So let's say we want to do something more. Um, we can push this out and do like the top 100 ports. Um, but this takes a bit longer. Um, I have found that when you once you get over um, 20 ports or so, it takes about a second per port to run. Um, so I'll let this uh, run and probably speed the video through the 100 seconds. Okay, so here we come back, 94 seconds, about exactly what I, you know, six seconds faster than what I predicted there. Um, we do get the SNMPs open. It doesn't bother showing us the uh, 99 closed ports. Um, so but that's cool. We're making some progress here. Um, 100 is probably almost certainly enough, but if I wanted to do 1,000, like Nmap's default is always to do 1,000 ports. Um, the string I really like to use is so is we'll just do, um, if we just take this out, it'll do 1,000 by default. And then we can do min rate, and this is something you've seen me use a fair amount. And if we set min rate to, you know, 10,000 and run this again, now we're hitting 1,000 ports and we're done in less than a second. Um, now, so we've got our SNMP open, that's cool, um, but we got these like random closed ports here, and there's 993 filtered ports. So like, what's going on with that? If we run this again, um, we have 993, but we have different filtered ports this time. Like completely, this these six don't match up with these six. Um, if I run this a couple more times, um, still getting luckily six. This time we only got two closed ports, um, and they're just randomly jumping around. So for what I need, this is like useful, right? Because I'm consistently getting back UDP 161, and then I have, like, there's these other random ones, right? Um, and it's fast, and we can run this on some other hosts. So if we try, go back to um, Pit, and we run this, still fast. Um, but now, you know, again, same thing. It's showing me some random, random in this case, filtered ports. Um, we can try that on Trick. So we do 11.166, and we run that, and boom, we've now got uh, DNS open in this case, and some other random ports. Um, we could try it on a really old box if we want. Uh, Sneaky is a for the twentieth box ever on Hack the Box has SNMP open, and you can see here that you know it's coming back open. So this this works. Um, so but what's going on with these extra filtered ports? Um, I'm gonna open up here and get on my uh, on, on zero. Um, I'm gonna pause for a second and figure out how to make this bigger. Cool. So we want to figure out what's going on in this thing. So let's run this again. Um, go back to this one we were running on originally. And take a look at what we got. Um, the number of packets sent here. So we literally had 2,000 packets sent, even slightly more, 2,011 packets sent for 1,000 ports. Um, we can see a lot of just UDP packets going out from me with no response. Um, if we take a look at some of the ports that didn't come back, so we can do UDP.port equals and 684 is the one I see there low. And we can see. This one, we send a UDP packet, and what comes back is an ICMP response from the target um, to me. And we can even look in here at the payload. And down here, we have a, U a UDP datagram. And it shows the destination port of 684 um, and from our source port of 
uh, 40202. Um, so basically it includes that rejected packet in this destination unreachable message coming back from the target. And so Nmap is able to say, hey, we sent this out, we didn't get it back, let's, let's mark it as closed. Um, if we run this more slowly, so if we run, come back here and so get rid of our min rate, and we'll just do like top, and again, just to make it go quick, and we run this again, oh, I probably should have reset. Yeah, hold on, let's kill that, reset, and run. So now we can see there's always some initial stuff MF does where it sends some ICMP, it hits 80 and 443. Um, but after that, if we look, come over here and we do ICMP, we can see, get rid of this, make, shrink this down, shrink this down. We get back ICMP packets for almost all of these ports. So um, we can look at each of these and start to see that basically we're going to have nine of these. Now there's supposed to be one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so we get back nine of them, um, and then there's one from me that I don't, it looks like it's trying to reach out to me. That's kind of weird, but um, so there's there's these all basically when the box is able to, it's going to send back a destination unreachable. My theory is that if I send a, if I flood it with packets all at once, it says, "Whoa, I can't handle this many packets," so it just drops a bunch of them, and then it sends out the five that it's able to get out. And that's why we see those five ports kind of at random because Nmap's just spewing you know packets at it or datagrams at it. Um, that's why we see those five ports come back that way. Um, let's then go. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to know. So um, in general, what I like to do when I run a hack the box box, and I'm going to try to put this more in my blog post. I usually kind of just skip over this, and once in a while, I'll be like, oh, but I needed to scan UDP on this one. Um, in general, what I like to do is do something like this at you know, hit the top thousand ports really fast. Get it, and that's ten, you know, a tenth of a, you know, less than a second. Um, if I wanted to get sixty-five thousand ports, it ends up taking quite a bit longer, even um, with this min rate thing. But sometimes I'll put all ports in the background and run that as well if I really want to keep the enumeration going. Um, but if I get something, you know, then I at least know I want to mess with this a little bit more. Um, if I get nothing in this initial scan, probably usually a thousand ports is enough. So I feel like on at least on a hack the box machine, you're going to get some hint to look at other look at UDP ports if you need to hit an obscure port that's not in the top thousand. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, the one other thing I did want to show. Um, I noticed if I run this again, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but if I look at 241 and run this again against Pit, you'll notice that sometimes I get filtered and sometimes I get closed. And I found this very confusing. I was actually showing this to Ipsec, and we went over to the new Bing AI chat, and it suggested to us amongst a bunch of other stuff that was not super helpful to add the dash dash reason flag in here, which I'd never seen before, but it's actually pretty cool. Um, and so now when I run this, it says, you know, it's marked as filtered because it's sending back an admin prohibited um, packet. And if we come over here and go to the bottom, um, did I not, uh, was I not recording for that? Let's see. Um, let's continue without saving, run this again. And we are getting destination unreachable communication uh, I need to make my info, my scaling up my zoom here, uh, cut off the edge. In communication administratively filtered. Um, and so we can actually see those are ICMP packets, and then our type is somewhere in here, code 13, you know, ICMP code 13. If we go back over here and do um, 163, which is Pandora, I believe. Uh, it was not Pandora. Oh, 136, I believe. Sorry, 136. And now if we come down here and scroll to the bottom, now we're getting port unreachable messages. And so you can see that is a type code three port unreachable. Um, so they're both sending back, um, they're both sending back type three destination unreachable, but the code, the reason why is administratively filtered versus uh, port unreachable. And so that changes Nmap to say like, oh, well, if, these ports are administratively closed, then they're, that's the definition of being filtered, right? The firewall is blocking them. Versus if the port, if it's the OS telling me the port's not open, that's kind of the definition of closed. And so then it just sort of says, well, all these other ones I didn't get responses for must be the opposite of that. So if these six are closed, the other ones must be filtered. Or if these six are filtered, then the other ones must be closed. Um, and that's what it shows us in the list. So i uh, going to call it here. Um, Hopefully this was useful for you, and uh, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll talk to you next time. Oh, 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 oh,